What's up, mentorship freaks? The daily dose of mentorship motivator. Today we're talking about overcoming obstacles. Overcoming obstacles. We've, we've talked about similar things in the past about adapting, overcoming. Today is overcoming obstacles. So first thing is is like most things starts with your attitude and your willingness, and you're making a decision that you're going to make the best of a situation. You're going to overcome it. You can. You've heard the Bedros saying that he says, I'm going to hand you a rope. You could either choose to climb a ladder to build to the top or choose a noose to hang yourself. Hang yourself or ladder. You you choose. You decide. But the So the first step in overcoming obstacles is when you have these roadblocks, you have these obstacles, is don't blame the circumstances. Don't blame anyone else. Obviously, we know we always take ownership for this stuff, right? Don't blame the situation. Don't blame the weather, the time of year, the time of day. The industry, the freaking president, the, the price, your car, the company, whatever, your competition, an employee, don't blame anyone because just blaming and finding problems is not going to help you overcome stuff. It's not going to help you find solutions. Don't go blaming other people. We all know that it starts at the top. It starts with you. You are, you are the leader. It starts with you. Whether or not you have a leadership team underneath you, it still starts from the top and it goes downhill. So how do you also overcome obstacles? So obviously there's going to be a lot of times other people, either your staff, your, your you know your team or your clients, potential clients, competitors, whatever else involved. So how do you begin to overcome them before it even happens is getting to know your people better in all those categories. Get to know your staff better, get to know your prospects better. Get to know your competitors better. Get to know your your cl- current clients better. Get to know them all better. Take time to learn about them. Take time to, you know, when you're doing your sales appointments, sales consultations, whatever, take your time. Get to know them. It's always about cultivating relationships. No matter what business you're in, you're in the relationship business because you can't grow a business at least to the levels that you're looking for, scale and grow without being involved with people. In order to be involved with people, you need to build relationships. So that's really how you overcome obstacles is by building those good relationships because you're going to need a team. You're going to need support. You're going to need help to overcome those obstacles. So knowing all your people better in all those different categories is going to be huge. Also, you can overcome it by controlling your schedule, plan your schedule out, know what you're doing at specific times of day. So a lot of the things we talk about come together when it comes to overcoming obstacles, because that's what's going to prevent them. And it's going to help you get past them. Like take using, you know, controlling, managing your time and not wasting your time, focusing on the priorities, not the stupid little things that are just a waste of time. Even sometimes you think something's an obstacle. It's not. It's just a waste of time. It's something that you doesn't even, it doesn't even need to worry about. It's like it'll, it'll solve itself probably in the short term. If it's something just stupid, you could just worry about the higher priority things. And Back to back to actually getting to know your people. When you're getting to know your people and you're and you're getting to know them and you maybe asking questions, you want to know more about them, whatever. Maybe even wondering why something happened a certain way. Be persistent until you get the clear answer, the answer that you need. Don't accept a deflection or them ignoring your question or an excuse, especially when it comes to your team, right? Because that's going to be part of the obstacles, finding out why do we have this obstacle? Why did this happen? And persist and ask it as many times, as many ways you need to. Till you get a clear freaking answer. So it's getting to know the team, but then communicating with the team and pers- having persistence with your team. You know, not in, a no- in an, an annoying way, obviously. Also to overcome obstacles is focusing on your skills. Focus on your working on your skills, making yourself better every single day, obviously. Reading and studying and learning and listening. And those are on the different topics that you know that, all right, you're at this level. You know you're going to to get to the level you want to be. You only have the skills for the certain level. So in order to overcome those obstacles, you're going to have to learn new skills and improve on the skills you have, improve on some of your weaknesses. And don't and, and don't just focus on the obstacle itself. If you just stare at the obstacle, guess what? That motherfucker is going to stay right there. Come up with solutions. Focus on solutions. That's where the communication with the team comes in. Anyone that comes to you with a problem, we know they better have two solutions with that problem, right? Be solution-oriented. Spend 95% of the time on the solution. Not the freaking problem. Not just talking about the problem and just being negative and just drilling it and digging yourself deeper in a hole physically, mentally, financially. Of course, when you're overcoming an obstacle, think before you're talking, right? This comes emotional intelligence comes into play. Sometimes just a few seconds, sometimes count to 10. Sometimes that shit will work wonders. Just pausing for a few seconds. Shit, sometimes 
cool down, wait a day or two if you have to on certain things to figure certain things out that, that don't need immediate attention or that you need a little more information on. We know we want to make quick decisions, but that doesn't mean to be reckless and be in the red and overboard on what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to regret maybe the action you take, only causing more obstacles and more problems. So pick and choose your battles, know how and when, and if you have enough, at least a minimal amount of information to deal with the, with the problem, come up with the solution, solution oriented. Because the choice has been and always will be yours. Like every obstacle, you make a choice. Is this going to be a problem? Is this going to bury us? Is this going to end us? Is this going to cripple us financially? Or am I going to figure out how to make this an opportunity? An opportunity to be a great leader, opportunity to be a great person. Because if you focus too much on the problems and the obstacles, rather than the solutions and the opportunities, you're just digging yourself in a hole and you're going backwards. You're going nowhere. Every single obstacle in your way is an opportunity for you to learn, for you to grow, for you to be a better leader, for you to sharpen your sword, to, to toughen up your entrepreneurial armor. So think of every obstacle, every problem, not just as a solution, but yes, we want to think we want to think of it as a solution. Now think of it as this is going to be part of your operations manual because you're going to learn how to deal with different situations. So monitor stuff, track it, document it, use it for future reference, for future training, and find the. Uh, I guarantee there's always an opportunity in every failure, every roadblock, every obstacle you come in. So how do you adapt and over? How do you overcome these obstacles by? Figuring out with an open mind, focusing on the solutions, but also focusing on what opportunities can I extract from this? What, what can I, how can I exploit this, this obstacle and turn it into a plus by just, and again, it goes all full circle back into your head with the decision you make, how, how positive you are in every situation and not just bearing, oh, this and this and this and this happened. No, no, no. It should be this and this and this and this is what we're about to do. And oh, look, if, when I really think about it, I bet we could do this, this, and this and some outside the box thinking of exploiting opportunities that are there that you wouldn't see if you were only focusing on the problems and the obstacle. Focus on the solutions and ways out of that, things you could do, possibly do, and that's just gonna start flowing your creativity and sparking it. So overcome obstacles, stop looking at them as roadblocks, they're just stepping stones. Think of it. You have a bag of cement and a bucket of water. You can either make a block that just sits in front of you and you just walk into it and bang into it, or you can make a step or a staircase and use that obstacle as a stepping stone to learn, improve, and maybe even make some more money. There's 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 hidden money in every obstacle. There's hidden money in every problem if you really get creative enough and think enough. So if you have any questions, comments, put them below. I will talk to you later. This is the Mentorship Motivator. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.